had um, reading slams, author panels, and we had an erotic writing masterclass, which was really well attended. So it's really nice, as well as just sort of the visibility of people seeing and buying our books, to actually offer them the experience of learning how to write erotica themselves, about getting published, and all that sort of thing. So that's been a new thing for us this year, and I think it's gone down really well. So what tips have you been telling people? We've had loads of people asking, how do I get into erotica? Um, what we say is that what we're looking for is a story rather than an experience. So we want people who've got a life outside the bedroom, they must be three-dimensional characters. And like with any good story, there needs to be a beginning, a middle and an end. Ideally there needs to be a little conflict and t tension that's going to build the atmosphere so when it does all happen it's more exciting. Um, and people who want to write for Excite, they'll find our guidelines on our website under the Frequently Asked Questions. There's a whole page called Write for Excite and that gives them all the information on what we're looking for, what we pay and everything like that. And what's modern technology done to the world of erotic? Uh, it's been amazing. I mean, e-books are a complete revolution for us. We've seen a, a growth in sales of 40% quarter on quarter in e-books. They're absolutely perfect for erotica because they're discreet, they're immediate, and um, you know they're very, very available. Whenever you want to get an e-book, you can. Um, and people do like the discretion factor. They like the fact that they can sit on the train and no one actually knows what they're reading. Um, and also, we've seen a huge growth in uh, MP3 digital downloads. People love listening to erotica as well as reading it. Um, and I can understand that. It's a bit of hands-free fun, really. <laughs> Is that a female thing? Do you think women are more likely to, to listen to it? No, actually, it's men tend to prefer listening. And um, I can really understand. And, and couples. Couples love listening. Um, I can really understand that, but because sometimes the actual sort of physical effort of reading a book can be too much. I love audio books, all sorts of audio books. So I think the the experience of listening to erotica very well read is very essential. Have you recruited anyone this weekend that can perhaps come and read a few books? Um, actually, no. We, we already have a, a good a, a good number of authors who do read. Um, sorry, uh, actors who read them for us. Um, my only advice for people listening to Robotica um, on audio is don't do it while you're driving. <laughs> so then what would be your, your very top tip? I know you, you said about you know, to write and how to get into it. What would be your very top tip for anyone watching this now who's thinking, I really want to go and, and have a go at writing? Do it. I think so many people just think, oh, I'd, I'd really like to do that, or it must be really hard to do that, or why, you know, how do I break into it? It's, it's easy to break into it. Just follow our guidelines, read what we're looking for. We're always looking for good new content. And, and just make your characters exciting, make it believable. And my top tip would be don't send me that plot line, which I call the pina colada one. It's the, you know that Pina Colada song where it always ends up that they were having an affair but actually they were married to each other? I get that sent in week after week after week. So forget the Pina Colada story and just think up something different, quirky, fun and seriously sexy. And who is seriously sexy? Who should be reading or listening to? Um, Katie Grace is our top, top selling author at the moment. She's been here at the show all three days. Her latest book is called The Pet Shop. We've never had a book that's had so many five-star reviews. So all I can say is if you're thinking that you want something to warm you up on a winter's night, go and get a copy of Katie Grace's The Pet Shop. And your website again? www.excitebooks.com And there's no E, just X-C-I-T-E books.com.